This is what Robin has written. I am Robin. My hobby is reading. I love to read story books. During my summer holidays, I read many story books like Pinocchio, The Little Mermaid, The Wishing Chair, Noddy and His Car, and Two Tintin Comics. I enjoyed reading these books. Have you read any of them at the moment? I am enjoying reading a book of short stories written by Ruskin Bond. He is a wonderful author. Did you find something odd while reading this paragraph? The sentences carry a different meaning than how it is actually meant to. But before we start correcting this, we would need to clearly understand the use of punctuation marks in English writing. But what are punctuation marks and how do they help us? Punctuation marks are very important when we are writing. They show the reader where the sentences start and finish. If they are used properly, our writing becomes easy to understand. Let us learn about these punctuation marks in detail to write better. Capital letter. Usage of capital letter is an important part of punctuation in English writing. The capital letter is used in several ways while writing. The first letter of every sentence begins with a capital letter. For example, this is my bag. The children are playing. Names of specific persons or places begin with a capital letter. For example, David lives in Singapore. The Danube flows through Europe. Names of days, months and special days are written with a capital letter. For example, Saturday and Sunday are weekends. Christmas is celebrated in the month of December. The pronoun I is always capitalized. For example, I am reading a book. When the dog chased me, I ran very fast. Full stop. A full stop is used to mark the end of a simple sentence. For example, do not run down the stairs. Wash the fruit before eating it. A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Question mark. The question mark is placed at the end of a sentence that asks a question. For example, do you want to go out to play? Why are you talking so loudly? Each of these begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Comma A comma is commonly used when a brief pause is required to make the writing easier to understand. For example, the book which is kept on the table is mine. When I went to answer the doorbell, my telephone started ringing. The comma indicates a short pause or a break. The comma is used to separate a series of words in a sentence. For example, apples, peaches, plums, oranges and apricots are a few of my favorite fruits. I have a pencil, eraser, sharpener and a small ruler in my pencil box. The comma is also used to separate words like yes, no, However, so, for example, yes, this road leads to my house. The sun was shining very brightly. So, we decided to play an indoor game. Now that we know the correct use of punctuation marks in English writing, let us use them in this story. I am Robin. My hobby is reading. I love to read storybooks. During my summer holidays, I read many story books like Pinocchio, The Little Mermaid, The Wishing Chair, Noddy and His Car, and Two Tintin Comics. I enjoyed reading these books. Have you read any of them? At the moment, I am enjoying reading a book of short stories written by Ruskin Bond. He is a wonderful author. It is the use of punctuation marks that helped to make the paragraph sound so well. Recap What have we learned today? Punctuation marks are very important when we are writing. 
They show the reader where the sentences start and finish. If they are used properly, our writing becomes easy to understand. Capital letter Usage of capital letter is an important part of punctuation in English writing. A sentence starts with a capital letter. Names of specific persons or places begin with a capital letter. Names of days, months and special days are written with a capital letter. The pronoun I is always capitalized. Full stop A full stop is used to mark the end of a simple sentence. A sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Question mark The question mark is placed at the end of a sentence that asks a question. The sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Comma A comma is commonly used when a brief pause is required to make the writing easier to understand. The comma indicates a short pause or a break. The comma is used to separate a series of words in a sentence. The comma is also used to separate words like yes, no, however, so.